In this next video, we're going to deal really quickly with how you can insert records into a table when some of the fields are set to not null. In other words, they don't allow null values, but you may not have a legitimate value to put into it. So as an example, in the, this table called customer types, we'll just uh, look at the design view for a minute. Uh, you can see that this field description is uh, set to not null. It does not allow nulls, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to just type in some silly information right now, click off of that, and then hit um, execute. And you see it saves the record. While on the other hand, if I leave that blank in description, because this cannot be null, SQL Server will complain about that. So it won't save that record. On the other hand, what we can do, we have to actually put something in there to make it happy. What we can do, on the other hand, for description, is we can put a default value in that field. And when we do this, we'll use a single quote, and we'll just say something like none. We could put whatever we want in here. Uh, it would just have to be a string. So we're going to say that it's none. But now I have to save this. I'm going to save that. And just to keep SQL Server really happy, I'm going to close out of here and come back. I'm going to right click on customer types and say edit all rows. Now, watch this. I'm going to fill in something for display. I'm not filling anything in for here. Let's see if it lets me. It did. Now, nothing's changed here, but watch what happens when I hit execute. Bam. So you see that? This field does not allow nulls, but since I didn't supply anything to it, it went ahead and threw something in there for me because that's the default value. So basically, that's how you get around not having something legitimate to put in a field that will not allow a null value. Now, there is a, another trick that you can do, and it looks like this. You know, if you want to be really extra sneaky, if I wanted to, I could put in a blank string Notice, by the way, how it added parentheses around my stuff. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to go out of there. And I'm going to come out of here just to go all the way back in. Right click. Edit all rows. Now, watch this. I click off of that. It lets me do it. I hit that. So you see, now, <clears throat> this is different than null. It's actually a blank string, which is different than null, and it evaluates differently when we're querying things or comparing things. But at least, you know, you may not have a value to put in there, but you may not necessarily want it to always say none, because then you'd have to scrape that out, or remove it, or filter it, depending on what you're doing. <clears throat> so basically, this is how you get around inserting records into a table in SQL Server when some of the fields are set to not null, and you don't have a value to put in there.